Alright, so this video is dedicated for our Traders Clinic fam, no? Kung hindi dahil sa kanila, ah, hindi magagawa tong video na to because these are the requested stocks of our fam. So, it's ASEN, Green Tech Video VUL, or VUL for our March 7, yan, Sunday na Sunday, Technical Analysis. So, bago ang lahat, dahil Sunday nga, ito ang ating verse of the day. Ito rin yung ano, no? Sa ating stock screening, sabi dito, God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you, always having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance of every good work. In short, ito yung pinaka-basis natin, ba't lagi sinasabi that you are blessed to become a blessing fam. Okay? Si Lord yan. Si Lord yan lagi nagbabless sa atin. And we are just instruments. Parang kaming mga doktor, no? Hindi po kami nagpapagaling. Again, uh, instrumento lang kami. Mga inaral, yung mga skills namin, no? Uh, lahat yon Si Lord pa rin, sa kanya pa rin lahat ng credit and glory. So, yun ang sabi sa ating 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. Sa ating New King James Version. And, ito nga guys, no? Ito yan. Ito yung basis natin dyan, no? Ito ang Traders Clinic exclusive natin. Uh, these are the people, no? We are not accepting members if uh, hindi po kayo inaprobahan sa ating FB page. So, please, please, uh, message first our FB page and then isasali kayo sa GC and then in this group. If not, uh, automatic po guys, sorry, uh, de-decline po muna natin because we are limiting the number of people. Very limited lamang po. And it's taking at all in our schedule din kasi. Okay? So, for this one, ito yung mga chosen stock. Hindi natin sinama si Dito kasi na-discuss na yan nung huling TA. Without further ado, let's get down to business. Okay. So, for AC Energy, as we can see here, gamitan natin ito ng Elliott Wave Theory. Labas natin si ano, Elliott Wave. So, for this one, dito nagsimula yung rally niya. This is the Wave 1, followed by Wave 2, the strongest and longest wave, Wave 3. And we are currently at the wave 4, the pullback, okay? What comes after wave 4 is a strong bullish run, pataas muli, okay? Ganyan ang, ano, ang DNA, ang teorya ni Elliott Wave, okay? So, uh, we are expecting after the consolidation of this stock is it would go upwards, okay? Yan ang sinasabi ni Elliott Wave. So, uh, aside from that, we have to check pa rin naman, Okay? Kung ano yung sinasabi ng ating indicators. Currently, nag-iipon, no? Nag-iipon ng mga foreigners natin ng 13.31 million. Although, below average pa rin na kanyang volume, at least green na siya. Okay? So, let's see. For the Bollinger Band, as expected, no? Very sideways movement pa siya. Constricted na siya sa area na to. Okay? For the PSR, nagbigay na siya ng downtrend. Okay? So, wala pang sign of reversal, pababa pa rin. Uh, the best one, if uh, if gusto niyang pumasok, the best pa rin tong entry price na to. At around almost sa pesos. Okay? Goods pa rin naman yan. Uh, maganda yung entry point because that is our support area. Very, very strong support. Especially na nagbigay siya ng downward uh, movement for this one. Okay? Again, uh, parte pa rin yan ng consolidation. No? Currently, ang ating most immediate support for this stock would be here. Okay? Maganda rin naman sumalo dyan at around 7 pesos or 6.87. Sideways movement within the Darvas box pa rin yan. If we are able to plot, alright, pag nag-plot tayo, dito banda yan. Okay. At 8.32 tsaka 6.87. So, goods pa rin yan, Darvas box, no? Uh, if mag-break yan, may saluhan pa naman tayo dito. Alright? So, yan ang ating, so, bumil tayo near the support, sell near the resistance, if ever sideways play ang gagawin nyo. Ito yung sinasabi ko, na consolidating siya, kasi below the Ichimoku cloud, within, no? Ibig sabihin, uh, ito yung inaantay natin na breakout para sa wave 5, yung sinidiscuss ko kanina. Uh, kailangan niya munang basagin tong si MA, uh, si Ichimoku cloud, plus, sama mo tong sila MA, uh, sila MA. Pansinin nyo guys, na nagsama-sama halos yung ano 1, 2, 3, tatlong MA, MA9 Okay? Kasi kaya rin siya si Ichimoku Yan Nagsama si MA9, MA20 Baliktad, si MA20 pala itong nasa taas, MA9 And then si MA50 uh, All acting as a resistance That's why, ayan no, sama-sama sila Kailangan basagin tong area na to Therefore, conclusion natin 7.14 Until Okay, 7.54, nandyan ang areas of strong resistance. Okay, 
Once again, the area of strong resistance ay nandun yung sa dalawa. Kailangan basa again. Okay? Para magtuloy-tuloy ang wave 5. So far, consolidation pa siya. No, no need to worry. Uh, scripted pa naman to. Kung baga, uh, fina-follow niya pa yung TA. Wala pa tayong dapat ipangamba. For this one, ito yung nakikita natin. Nagkakaroon na siya ng strength. Oh. Nagkakaroon ng strength ang buyers. Ibig sabihin, kapag nagkaroon ng strength ang buyers, is humihina ang sellers. Medyo humihina na yung momentum ng sellers. But don't get me wrong, the sellers are still in control. Malakas pa rin ang hatak nila. Humihina nga lang. Okay? So again, sideways movement, abangers tayo dyan kapag nag-break out yan, maganda-ganda. So for this one, okay, uh, ang kanyang trend, downward pa rin, the downward consolidation trend, okay? So pababa pa rin yan, kailangan niyang magkaroon ng immediate break. So volume, volume na lang inaantay natin dito, no? Kasi yan ang may kita nating malakas na uh, resistance. So far, ito, ito pinaka-resistance niya. Dito banda sa 52, 59 po, ah, 51.59 level. Okay? Dahil meron dyan, bas bilangan nyo na lang. 1, 2, 3. Okay? Tsaka ano pa siya, no? Uh, pababa. Pababa yung turo ng RSI. So, we are waiting for a bounce, actually. Yung bounce niya would be here. Ito yung bounce niya. Dapat magkaroon na siya ng bounce soon. Okay? Dahil nandyan din si ano. Nasa support na rin siya. Support level na siya dito. Plus, support level na rin siya dito eh. Ayan no? Sa 46.10 level. So, we might expect a bounce soon enough. If not, pwede siyang uh, mag-bounce sa 42.49. Dito yan banda. Okay? Dito yan banda sa uh, around 6 pesos for our AC energy. Right? Next one would be green. Alright, so for green, sige, tago muna natin. Oh, I'm seeing a pattern. Tago muna natin. Ang nakikita natin pattern kay green, possible, no? Possible na mag head and shoulder pattern, which is a bearish move. I hope we are wrong, but uh, hope is not a good indicator. This is the left shoulder, this is the head, okay? Makikita nyo yan. But experience a strong bounce here. Pero dead cut sa bounce lamang yun dahil possible siyang bumaba dito. No? So possible, possible. Hindi ko sinasabing 100% mangyayari. Kaya i-consult pa natin ating ibang indicator. Pero usually, ganitong itsura ng ating head and shoulder pattern. Okay, magkaroon ng short uh, bounce, dead cut sa bounce, and then downward movement. So ingat-ingat tayo, no? Uh, medyo bearish pattern ang nakikita natin dito. Dahil nagsimula na nga ang downtrend at this area of resistance. Okay, pababa. So far, ang ating uh, support of the uptrend, so far, hindi pa naman basag. Okay, the long term. The short term, that's our problem kasi nabasag siya nung last trading day, no Friday. Basag dito, guys. Oh. Eto, ito kandi lang to. So, medyo delix tayo dyan. Okay? Kaya, uh, we're expecting pagtama dito magkaroon ng bounce and then head and shoulder pattern. Pero uh, hindi pa yan 100% sure. Tignan muna natin kasi uh, may iba pa tayong indicators. For this one, at foreign buying, medyo mataas. Pero below na yung ano nyo, yung buying niya dito below average. Possible, possible na bumabawi pa siya. Sabi ko nga, pwedeng mag-bounce pa dapat yan. Very expanded to sa Bollinger Band because high volati volatile tong stock na ito as of now. Ang laki ng mga price action nyo in the past 4 uh, days, 4 trading days. Etong sinasabi ko sa inyo na possible bumaba siya because we have here the PSR, the first sign, the most important sign of PSR, nagsabi sa kanya na this is going downtrend. Sabi ni PSR. For the Ichimoku, sideways movement as we can see here, parallel to one another ang green and red. Okay, sideways movement sila. However, strong resistance lamang dito. So, hindi pa rin ganun kaganda. Labas natin sila MA. Baka may good news naman. For MA9, act, acting as a resistance, saktong-sakto guys. So, yung tuktok niya, yung height niya ng 4.40. Resistance yan ni uh, MA9. That's na uh, not looking good, no? Uh, if ever, magandang sumalo dito. Sinasabi ko sa inyo, sa down, sa sa ating bounce play, di ba? Sabi ko sa head and shoulder pattern. Pwedeng-pwedeng bumili dito at uh, 3.89. Mabilisan lamang, short term lamang ito. Dahil support support and support. We have three support and nandiyan kasi si MA20. So, mabilisan lamang yon pagka uh, bili. 
pwede rin uh, magkaroon ng play. If ever magma-materialize na, magma-materialize yung agent shoulder pattern. Again, it's not 100%, kaya kinoconsult pa natin itong ating ibang ano, indicators. MA50, medyo malalim pa, pero good ano rin ito. No? Isa sa mga one of the best, right? One of the best supports. Okay, be mindful lamang sa uh, prices na sinabi natin. Ito ang price of resistance natin, if ever uh, magkaroon nga ng bounce at around 4.46. So, ang play na mangyayari dyan ay pag ganito. If you will, uh, if expected nyo rin, nakita nyo rin ang head and shoulder katulad nakita ko, ayan. So, yan ang play. Uh, 10 to 12% play. Uh, more or less na yan, kasama na yung tax. Sa MACD natin, ito yung sinasabi ko na we have a loss of momentum. Ayan, no? Converging na. Sabihin pa, inanampahina ang buyer natin, especially, look at buying, pa, uh, buying momentum, especially na below average na yung buy dito, no? Net buy. So, for this one, converging si blue towards the red, plus, ayan, no? Declining na buying momentum almost none. The sellers would be in control in no time. For this one, mapapansin natin that we have here the... Uh, support, nagkaroon siya ng immediate bounce. 1, 2, 3, 4, okay. 5. Okay, medyo long term na yan. Pag sinama pa natin ito, no? itong mga to. So, for this one, uh, we might experience a limited or short bounce. Ito yung sinasabi ko dito. Pwedeng umabot dito, tapos magkaroon ng bounce. Okay? Pwede rin dito yan. Anywhere near this one, ayan na nakikita nating play. For this stock, ayusin lang natin ang baboy. Okay, dito banda. Sa 55.62 levels of our RSI. Bounce play kasi, tignan din natin. Same na same ang itsura niya dito. Okay. I think din na gets yun. Isa pa. Pag ganito. Ganun din. Nag-equivalent uh, yan. Same na same lang halos. Okay? Hindi lamang ganun ka-evident dito sa ating RSI. Pero let's see. Let's see if magmamaterialize siya. Kasi so far, strong ano pa rin naman to. Strong uptrend movement pa rin naman si Green. Okay? Historically, mula nung ating March 20. Last year pa pala. March 2020. Okay? Let's see if finally magko-consolidate na siya muna. This, uh, itong mga highlighted areas would be areas of good consolidation. Right? Now, let's go to Sirtec, ang mga consolidating stocks. Mga long-term stocks to, no? Yung mga requested stocks ng ating fam. Okay, so for Sirtec, ito yung sinasabi natin na nangyari yung head and shoulder pattern. So for this one, ito. Left shoulder, this is the head. Experience a bounce. Familiar ba ta guys? No? Familiar na familiar. Head and shoulder pattern talaga. Ang nangyari sa kanya. Now, the question is, mag, uh, kasi itong stock na ito, maganda nang pumasok dito near the MA100. Currently acting as the strongest support for this stock. Is, uh, the question would be, ma-break pa kaya itong MA100 na to? Okay? Uh, if matapos ba ang head and shoulder dito? Or dito pa banda? Sa area na to, sa, this is the question, ano? This is the question, sa 5.82. Alright? Dahil nandito nga ang ating support, uh, tingnan natin if kaya yung masustain. If not, if umabot siya dito, if mabreak itong si MA, call this, uh, MA100, and then pwede na siyang pull dito sa 5.82. Hindi imposible. Okay? Ang nakikita natin dito, ang pag in wave theory ulit natin to, Okay, tawagin natin si Elliot. One. Sige, wait lang ha. Sukatin lamang natin. Okay. This is the first wave. Isin natin. This is the first wave. If this is the first wave, dito po yung second wave. This is the third wave. This is the fourth wave. 4th with 5th with. Ayan, natin ha. Medyo sumobra ang ating pagplat. Take 3. If this is the first wave, this is the second wave, this is the third wave, okay? The longest wave. 4th wave, 5th wave, okay? Tapos ang Elliot wave theory natin. Ibig sabihin, kapag natapos si Elliot wave theory, papasok dyan si ABC correct. Elliot, no? basahin nyo guys. Tala pala. Elliot wave correction. Ah, Elliot correction wave. Okay, ko-correct niya, sideways movement. This is the first wave, the A wave. 
followed by the short uh, bounds, B wave, and then the C wave. Now, the question would be, ang C wave ba natin hanggang dito lang sa 5 point, ah, sorry, 6.56? Or pwede pa siyang, sorry, iusin natin ang discussion natin, pwede pa siyang umabot dito sa ating 5.82. So, yan dalawa yung choice natin. Ano po? So, possible, possible, kaya consult pa tayo ng iba pa nating indicators. Now, dito nyo ma-appreciate talaga kung gano'ng kalaga ang indicators natin. So, for this one, we have the candlestick below the Ichimoku cloud, meaning to say, uh, so far, downward movement pa siya, bearish pa siya, tsaka kailangan niyang basagin. And, maganda sa kanya is mag-accumulate na ng price. Okay? Dahil ito ang ating accumulation area. So far, we're doing very good, no? Kung nakapag-accumulate tayo sa areas na to. Again, for long term po ito. For the PSR, downward movement pa rin. So, mukhang hindi imposibleng maabot tong si 5.82. For the Bollinger Band, okay, expanding siya pero pababa. That's a bearish sign. Pwede pa talaga siyang maabot ang 5.82. So, we have to check our MACD. Okay, we have an increasing uh, sell-off, selling momentum around here. And mukhang hindi pa sila pa converge. Okay, so possible na magkaroon pa ng sell-off, possible na maabot pa ito. If ever, pati na mag-set ng TP dito, ah, ng TP ng buying area dito, tsaka dito. Right? So for this one, this is the area of our supports. Okay, for the area of support, maganda ito. One, two, 3, 4. May apat tayo dyan. We have your 1, 2, 3, 4. Mas matiba ito. 5. Okay? So, etong dalawang to, 42 tsaka 39, sila yung mga matibay na support for a bounce. Okay? Ito yan, equivalent niya yan dito. So, magkakaalaman tayo, no? Kasi equivalent nitong si 42 ay si MA100. Magkakaalaman tayo next week kung kaya niyang isustain. If not, ready nga ready tayo dito. Okay? So, alam na ang mga play. Na-reveal na yan. Punta na tayo kay BD. Oh. Fast pace tayo guys, no? Dahil ano oras na ba? 1.30am na pala. Okay, okay. So, let's G. So, for this one, BDO, mukhang we are seeing signs of life. Very good. Uh, may kita natin, meron tayong net foreign. Mag malaki, malaki to, no? 10.16 million. Plus, we have a net volume above average. So, mukhang nag start na ang kanyang run. Okay, plus look at this one. This is the support of the uptrend. 1, 2, 3. Well supported. Pataas pa rin. Uh, ito yung dinidiscuss ko last time. no? Sabi ko sa video natin, nung lumaluma pa siya, ito yung strong support. Every now na tumatama dyan, nagkakaroon ng bounce. Ito na ngayon ang kanyang, ano, apataas na siya. Okay? Well sustained na ang, uh, ang ating uh, price action at 100 pesos. Okay? Well, sustain na ang support dyan. Okay, 103. So, if ever pa pa, 104 na yan. Pataas na ng pataas. So, um, palit yan ang palit, guys. No? Consolidation ang tawag po dyan. Until sa palit ng palit ng price action, until magkaroon ng breakout. Ganito ang itsura nyan. Ang rough na drawing natin. Pag ganyan, pag ganyan. Hanggang sa magkaroon ng strong breakout. Because video is proven to be a uh, part yan. Ang PSEI natin is sa mga fundamentals. Fundamentally viable stocks. Okay? So, again, ang tinuro ko dito, resistance to. Itong area na to. Currently, resistance niya to 110. Okay? Sa resistance of the downtrend. Pero, ang pinakamalakas na resistance niya, most immediate and strongest, as of now, kaya nga most immediate, would be around here, 114 to 113 pesos. Okay? So, uh, pwedeng laruin niya, no? Sideways play. So, uh, nika lang na, curious din ako. Pwede, pwede. Mga tag 10% ang laruan dito. So, mapansin nyo, area of consolidation, mas nauna lang siya ng, kay Sirtec na umangat. Pero ganito rin ang itsura ni Sirtec, no? Pabawi. Bumabawi ang stock natin. For the Bollinger Band, as expected, consolidation yun. Kaya sideways movement dito. PSR, mukhang malapit na, no? Reading ready na siya, ayan, no? Reading ready na magkaroon ng signal pataas. Onting push na lamang, okay? Kahit uh, mabilisang push lang yan above 110, magkaroon lang ng trade 110 is, okay, kahit sustain, guys, kahit sustain lang sa 110 next trading day, is uptrend na yan. Kasi tignan nyo dito, guys, binasag nyo na rin kasi ang upper limit ni 
Ichimoko Cloud. So, mukhang in the next few weeks, actually, days to weeks na lamang to, mukhang ready na tayo makakita ng strong price action for D, ah, dito, for B, D, O, B, D, O. So, dito, sabi niya, well supported naman siya. Actually, nag-cross na nga, oh. This is a, uh, this is a bullish sign, guys. Ayan, no? We have here the crossing of MA50. Magiging, ano na siya? Below MA20 or MA20 above MA50. Same thoughts lang yun. Ibig sabihin, uh, bullish rin yan. Ano? Bullish rin na strong price movement pataas. So, mukhang dito rin, mag-cross silang dalawa sa MA50 natin. That's a strong run. Plus, we have a good support around this area. At 108. Okay? Very promising this stock. For this one, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, we have an increasing buying momentum, palakas ng palakas ang buyers natin, kaya pwedeng-pwedeng basagin yan. Plus, ganun din ang tinuturo sa atin ni, ni RSI. Okay? Meron lang experienceado lang tayo dito ng resistance sa bundle dito. Ito ang ating 100-ish area, 100 area. Ito yung 114 area. Okay? So, matibay itong 110 kasi 1, 2, Pwede na yan. 3. Itong 114, not so much. Okay? Konti lamang. That's for our video. Next, ICVUL. Ayan. Malapit-lapit na mukhang sandali lang itong video na ito kasi nirap natin eh. What do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ang mali. Okay, so for VUL, makikita natin, nag-start na siya ng downtrend niya. MA100, ah, sorry, MA9 and MA20, resistance na yan guys. No? Nahirapan na siyang umangat sa area na ito. Okay, and experience a strong downward movement dito. Ang, ang medyo delik sa kanya, delik, meaning delikado, is uh, onti lang naman to, not foreign buying na negative 1.17 million. Kasi ang problema mo, Uh, kahit onting butas, lumalaki yan. Ayan, no? Mukhang, uh, nag increase ang kanyang volume of sell-off. Okay? So, we have to wait or confirm if kayang isustain ng support na ito. Again, hindi ganun katibay itong support na to pero ito yung most immediate support at 2.65. If ever bababa pa dyan, mukhang makaka-experience pa tayo ng further downward movement. Ang next nasa Luhan would be in this area pa. 2.65. 11. Okay? So, might experience, um, pwedeng mag-trim down kapag hindi kinaya. Okay? Kasi currently, ang basa natin dito is 1, 2, 3, 4. Nasa wave 4 siya ng Elliott Wave Theory. As we are plotting here. Okay? So, in the short term, this is the first wave, this is the second wave, the downward, third wave, the longest, and nasa fourth wave tayo. No? Ang fourth wave, ang problema mo, hindi mo alam kung hanggang dito lang siya sa 2.65 or 2.11. Okay? Pero, possible na ang next natin dyan is bounce. Okay? Bounce up thread, which is the five, fifth wave natin for the Elliott wave. So, at ito ang question. Kaya, we have to wait if kayang basagin or kayang masustain ni 2.65 or not. Alright? So, Next dyan, CMA, ano na. If ipa-plot natin, more or less, ganun din ang bigayan dito. Ay, mama. Ganun din ang bigayan dito, na ito talaga yung area of support. Ito. Okay? Ito rin. So, more or less, nag-a-agree sa atin, ano po? Nag-a-agree, 2.59 to 2.65, that's the area of support. Plus this one, 2.20 to 2.11, area of support then. If ever hindi mag-sustain ito, ito, yung star at apangit ng drawing, ito, hindi mag-sustain yan. So watch out for, no? Watch out for tayo dito. At least ito. So alisin natin yung noise. Alright. So for this one, converging si Cyan towards the red. So magda-downward movement tayo dyan. Okay? Plus, we have here the candlestick above the Ichimoku. Uptrend pa rin naman. Kasi sinabi ko, wave 4 siya. Uh, followed by wave 4, wave 5 pataas na. So, abang-abang muna tayo dyan. 
tulad na sinabi ko. For the PSR, wala pang sign of uh, reversal, downward, downtrend pa rin siya, continued. Converging kasi, pataas siya dito, tapos nag-start na siya mag-converge. So, uh, decrease volatility na yan. Hopefully, no? Mag- uh, mag-sustain dito. But hope is not a good indicator. Mind you. So, for this one, we still exper- we are still experiencing a decrease in buying, mom- a selling, sorry, we are still experiencing an increase in selling momentum, set off pa rin. Kaya hindi malabo, ma-reach to 2.11. Ganun din ang nakikita natin kay RSI. Okay? Ang nag-overbought, and then strong, strong trend na siya, oh, downwards. Okay? Our most immediate pag-asa or most immediate support would be here at 52.32 because of this one, 1, 2, 3, However, basag pa rin. Okay? So, abang-abang tayo dahil ito yung area ng 2.11. Eh. Dito na banda sa 42.96. So, abang-abang tayo dahil possible na dito yung good area of support natin for bounce bago magkaroon ng reversal ng down ter- uh, uptrend. Okay? So, mas maganda consolidation, mas gusto natin. Okay? So, that's it for to this morning, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And let me just remind you that you are blessed to become a blessing. That Jesus loves you. Huwag kang mahihiyang lumapit sa Kanya. God bless, guys.